Thanks for calling Calm. Calm is on a mission to support everyone on every step of their mental health journey. Please note, we're unable to accept unsolicited submissions, so please, please refrain from leaving auditions in our inbox. Thanks and have a lovely day. Oh, hello there. I know it's late, it's just I saw your light was on and I figured you were having trouble sleeping. I get it. Who can sleep comfortably during times like these? The stress of living in the Big Apple can be too much to bear sometimes. It can make you want to scream. Why, I've seen people lose their head when they can't keep their calm. And that's what's important, isn't it? Unwinding at the end of a long day, being rested. It's important to be restful. It keeps us functional, keeps us sane. I've heard sleep deprivation can make you unstable. <laughs> it's true. That's why calm is so helpful. We can all go a little mad sometimes. But it's no fun if you have to go into work the next day with body bags under your eyes. So listen closely for my take on a sleep story. After all, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve to help knock you out. Let me be your sandman. And I'll let you in on a little secret. There are rules for a deep night's rest, and if you follow my steps, you'll be dead asleep in no time. Rule number one is simple. Turn off your lights. I mean, what's wrong with you? It's night time. It should be pitch black. You'll be safer in the dark, trust me. That's it. One by one. Slip a little further and further into the darkness. <laughs> Why, I can't even see you anymore. That's good. You're already one step closer to the heaviest slumber of your life. Keep setting the mood. Create an atmosphere that invites rest. Let your eyes relax to the shadows. The darkness helps you get into your circadian rhythm. It's our animal instinct, you know. And isn't that what we really are? Animals. Rule number two. Lock your doors. You'll just sleep better knowing that you're nice and safe in your home. No one is going to come in and disturb you. You can let your guard down and feel secure enough to close those heavy eyes. If you want, lock your windows, too. Oh, I'm not being paranoid. So many terrifying things out there. Lots of dangerous people. If they can't be locked out, well, the next best thing is for you to be locked in. Right? No one getting in. Or out. Rule number three. Follow your bedtime routine. Everyone prepares for their big sleep differently. It's those little quirks that make us who we are. What's yours? Is it pouring yourself a glass of warm milk? Taking a hot bath? Or maybe doing skin care like peeling off a face mask? I like to wear a mask at night, too. Don't forget to wear clothes that are comfortable. Is it a big old t-shirt, maybe some silk pajamas or a nightgown? Mine is long and black. And don't forget to close those blinds. Privacy is important. Don't want any witnesses. And rule number four. Get your favorite pillow. Down feather, memory foam, cotton polyester, whatever is good for your neck and face. I have my favorite pillow. I'm holding it right now. It's big and heavy. It doesn't breathe very well, but that's why I like it. Some say the more a pillow can breathe, the better, but I disagree. Rule number five. Set your phone to do not disturb. I don't like being disturbed. Do you? You never know who might call you in the middle of the night. No one should interrupt what is about to happen. 
things need to be quiet. Take it an extra step further. Put your headphones on and listen to something on calm. Maybe a soothing bedtime story, a relaxing soundscape to drown out the sounds of the city. Forget about all the stress the future holds. Let it lull you into a place of peace. It can help make your life a little easier. And mine too. Don't let anything distract you from your quiet, like footsteps creeping down the hall, or a door slowly cracking open, or my black leather gloves gripping the pillow as I stand over you. And finally, rule number six is breathe. Don't forget to breathe. It's so important. People forget that oxygen deprivation can really kill someone's mood. Take a deep breath, if you can, in and out. That always helps. Isn't that nice? You can feel yourself losing consciousness, falling deeper and deeper into the blackness, into the darkest sleep of your life. It's so simple. Once you stop fighting sleep, you'll find that it's so easy to slip into darkness. There. Isn't that better? All calm. All quiet. You look so peaceful, though. Nighty-night.